I became a chiropractor because um, when I was younger, I did have back pain. Uh, I was playing sports a lot, uh, football, ran track. And I started to have this lightning bolt pain in my lower back that I didn't know what to do uh, with. So my mother uh, and father took me to our medical doctor, a very nice man. And he gave me some anti-inflammatories that didn't work. Um, it seemed like there was something stuck in my back, I guess. And um, ultimately, I went to the chiropractor who lived a couple blocks away from my home where I grew up. And uh, Dr. DeGarmo very quickly uh, assessed what was wrong and, and put me on a table and did this thing with my back where I was laying on my side. And, and magically, it seemed like at the time, this pain immediately went away. I could tell instantly that that is exactly what needed to happen. And, it, and there was an immediate relief. And I, from that point, became very interested in what he knew that this other doctor did not know. Why did it make so much sense to him? Um, uh, to me, that's where everything kind of started. That was in high school. By the time I was through college, I knew I was in the healthcare field somewhere I was going to be. And so I went and visited Dr. DeGarmo and, and talked with him for days and realized that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into chiropractic school. Uh, you know, I love, I love the part about educating people. I think, so doctor, I think, is Latin for teacher, and it should be interesting for any doctor to teach their patient about, about their health. And to me, it's the, the most exciting part is to, to have somebody who is confused like I was, why is this happening, and then to fully understand why it's happening, but then how to not only fix it, but maybe keep it from ever happening again. And so that's what I built my practice to, to focus on was, yeah, pain relief is, is maybe the first step. It's possibly the easiest part in many cases is to get some pain relief, but to really figure out what the underlying problem is and then to correct it, in my opinion, is the goal. And that's what I built this practice to do. Um, some people want that. Other people just want the pain relief and we can do that as well. I wish people understood that not all chiropractors are the same. Um, even within our profession, we understand that there are di different philosophies. We aren't following an algorithm in chiropractic. Like, I think, I think some forms of medicine are doing where a certain test says a certain thing, so therefore you do a certain drug. It's it's more it's it's not. It can't be algorithmic. Each doctor and each patient has a relationship together that gets the best results. Um, there's a lot of science to it in the form of physiology, anatomy, biomechanics, physics. Uh, but it's an art as well. And I think that, well, we would all want it to be a simple yes, no to every question that we have. But in health, it's not quite that way. And in chiropractic, our approach has to involve an art form as much as it does science. I think our facility, Advantage Health and Wellness, is unique in this area. Uh, facilities do like do exist, like facilities like this do exist uh, elsewhere in the country and in the world. But this is a very unique place because of the teamwork that's involved with chiropractors, physical therapists, licensed massage therapists, physical therapy assistants, and our medical practice that we get to work closely with um, to provide non-narcotic pain management. This is a team approach, and I think this facility is unique because of that team approach. Uh, it's not easy to manage. It's not easy to coordinate a team like that. Um, but the, it makes us special. It makes our results much better. What I like to think about our facility is that if you're, if you're following our recommendations and you're doing your part to get better, if our plan does not work for you, probably you can go see that surgical specialist, see that uh, um, surgeon, see the uh, orthopedist, the, get the MRIs, do all the expensive procedures because you know that you've tried everything else. And I think that's what makes us special. Mm -hmm.